Hey, I wanted to make a quick video to discuss the charge limits on the Tesla batteries. You can see here set charge limit and for daily it says it's got these areas more on the lower side. That's pretty low daily. And on a trip charging this level will take longer because of course the last bit takes the longest but you can put it all the way to 100%. That is 100%. Now you should never really charge your battery to 100% for the best battery life. You should kind of keep it down, I don't know, maybe here, right before trip, maybe a little bit lower. I think it's 90, this is like 80%. And whatever you set it at, that's where it will stop charging. And even when you're charging, you can adjust this setting if you're not at your vehicle by using the app. You can adjust it there. But if you're on a trip, Sometimes, especially at the end of your trip, you want to finish up at a supercharger and charge up to 100%. That's generally the, the method I use. Sometimes during the middle of a trip, I want to charge it to 100%, but not usually because usually during a trip, you want to keep going up and down on this, this section of the battery because it only takes about 30 minutes to go from here to here. And you just want to jump from supercharger to supercharger at 30 minutes. But on the last trip, uh, the last stop in your trip, I want to fill it all the way up before I get to my destination typically so that I don't have to run out and charge it again or... You know, well, unless I have a thing to pl place to plug into, but I usually don't. So, so I don't end up on empty. I will usually go to 100% at the last stop before I make a long stop. Usually, I still have to go maybe 20, 30 miles from the supercharger to get to where I'm going. So, I'm not going to end up at 100% for a long time. I'm just going to charge up to 100% and then drive away immediately without waiting and then bring it down another 20 or 30 miles to get to my destination. And that's just fine. You don't want to do it all the time like that, but the worst thing you can do for your battery is to bring it up to 100% and then just leave it there. Just, just not drive the vehicle. That's what Tesla doesn't want you to do. That's what you don't want to do. So just keep that in mind. For the times that you do use 100% and charge 100%, be monitoring your vehicle. You know, go ahead and drive it away immediately. If you get caught in the bind and you can't get back to your vehicle when it's charging to 100%, all you got to do is stop the charge. You can just stop charging from your app at any time, or you can drop the limit down or both. So those are some good techniques to use to determine how much, you know, percentage-wise to charge your battery. It just depends on what you're doing.